Hi, good morning. How are you doing? I'm here with Zachary and Xavier, my little boys. You can't really see him. He's a little tiny baby. He's reaching for the camera right now. <laughs> anyway, how are you doing today? I'm hoping that you are having a fantastic day, a great day, beautiful. I hope that your enthusiasm is directing your, your energy and your purpose with fervency and consistency. Today is a beautiful day. Today is your opportunity to make a decision, okay? Decide what it is you're going to do. Go after it. It's the most important decision that you will make. Procrastination is opportunity's natural assassin. We have to manage our time carefully and we have to stop procrastinating. One of the major things that I would admonish to you today is as far as Bad habits are concerned. Let me tell you how bad habits work consciously and subconsciously. Consciously, bad habits affect your life because they're negative habits. You're a smoker, you, you lose energy, you breathe, your lungs does not uh, absorb as much oxygen, and there's a lot of certain nasty shit in there that causes your body to be weaker, lower energy. May not kill you, you may never get cancer according to how you think but it definitely affects the body. We are operating under certain laws on this planet or on this plane or whatever we live on. And these laws are fixed. Now there are some laws that you don't know about. Study them and take advantage of them. It's very important to get rid of terrible habits because the subconscious mind is going to give off a feeling of, I don't deserve anything great. If you are engaged in a habit that you think is horrible, that you think is destructive, that you think is not profiting you because you think that, not because of the habit. The, there are many people who smoke and do drugs and are extremely happy and extremely successful. It's because they don't think it's bad, okay? Now, not everybody is liberated like that in terms of their thought. Most of, most of us are down a straight line. We are afraid of the police, afraid of authority, listen to authority. Whatever they say, they say that's wrong, that's illegal, I will never do that, I'm scared of the law. Most people operate like that, so in their minds, this, I don't deserve greatness because I'm engaging in all of these terrible habits. Now one, any habit that you think, not the world, any habit that you think is terrible, get rid of it now. Now, the ego is a powerful thing. The ego is one of the most powerful forces in your mind. The ego is what causes all your habits and your feeling of rightness. That's the ego. Well, before you fix it, because I will address that in a later video where you have to address the ego because it can bring you down. Pride comes before the fall. The ego causes a lot of misjudgment. However, it's powerful, so you can trick it and use it to your advantage. Take your ego and use that force to get rid of bad habits. Trick your own mind. To, for example, this is how I use my ego. I say... You can't get this habit, you're weak. You can't kick that habit, you're weak, and you're feeble, probably a faggot. Now, a faggot is not a homosexual. I have no problem with homosexuals. Faggots are just unreasonable assholes that are persistent. Nothing to do with their sexuality. So, I say that to myself, hey, if you can't get this done, you're a faggot. The ego, now I'm not trying to bring myself down. I'm trying to get the ego into action. I'm trying to get the ego to respond and say, no, I'm not a faggot, I can get this shit done. No, I'm not a faggot, I can get this shit done. You don't have to use these type of, that's a harsh word in some places. I just give you my explanation of how I use it towards myself. I don't call people that, but that's what I say to my ego so that it, it could take the energy and the force that it has and use it to a positive measure as opposed to its usual use, which is to dampen the instinct, okay? So take your courage and your ego and get rid of those bad habits immediately remember eyes on the prize stop putting shit off